Hey guys, Jacoby here today. I'm back doing another review this time on the Marvel Legends cable from the Deadpool 2 film. And it's just awesome that they're finally able to do Fox movie figures. Uh, we've been waiting a long time for this. Uh, they, they've been able to do X-Men comic figures, but never really the films because, you know, they don't have rights. But now that uh, Disney has finally bought Fox, now they're able to do the figures and the movies. So that's really exciting to finally have these. This is my first one out of their whole X-Men reveal thing. It's Cable, the Walmart exclusive. Uh, so, you know, there's a bunch of other ones like Mystique, Wolverines, stuff like that. So hopefully I can get those in the coming months. It's just really exciting to finally have these. And the packaging they gave them is just awesome. I really like the um, the sort of exclusive style they gave to their packaging. I really hope this does become a mainstay for their packages. But I guess it's sort of like their premium figures in a way. Uh, they really did have some improvements on these figures. So, yeah, let's get into this review. Alright, so before I get into the figure, I'm just going to go over the packaging real quick. I really do like this style of packaging. Like I said, it's really nice for their sort of premium X-Men uh, figures. So, you know, I think it's really cool. It's red for the Deadpool movie figures. Speaking of Deadpool, we have his logo down here, which is really neat. It's covering up the initial X-Men logo that is um, really on these X-Men packages. So that's cool. That's a neat idea. And then right here we have... Nathan Summers, I believe it says, and it's scribbled out with like Sharpie, and here it says Cable and Sharpie, so that's kind of cool. I guess it's sort of supposed to be like Deadpool covering up the fact that it says Nathan Summers and putting his like his superhero name, so that's a fun idea. And then on here we have the X Men logo for the window box packaging. Got another Sharpie scribbled out uh, with 14 plus, so that's cool. We got Marvel Legends logo up here, another Deadpool logo with Marvel Legends logo and an X Men logo up here. Got a silhouette of Cable. Uh, you know, that's Josh Brolin as Cable. I guess they didn't get the actor pictures. I guess they just wanted to get silhouettes just so it's quicker. I don't know. Maybe that's something. Maybe they don't have rights to their actual faces or I don't I don't know. Maybe they just didn't want to wait. But it is. it does add to the style, so I think it's really nice. I, I, I'd i rather they do this than an actual picture, but, you know, preferences. It's all preferences. Uh, I really do like this, though. Another Marvel Legends logo down here. Same thing on the back. Um, got the Nathan Summers thing once again. Same thing on the other side, not much on the bottom. So yeah, that should be it for the packaging. Let's get onto the figure. All right, so here's the figure with all of his accessories. He has two pairs of hands, two guns, and two attachments for the rifle. So that's really cool. Uh, each weapon does have a holster on his body, so I will get into that later. But you know, that's actually a really neat uh, thing that Hasbro did. Uh, but anyways, before I get into the weapons, I will get into the extra hands. He does come packaged with those open hands. And obviously here are the fisted hands, and both of them are different, you know, left and right. But not only that, uh, there's skin tone, and then there's the metal, because, you know, obviously he has a metal arm. Same thing over here, you know, metal, and then uh, skin. So, you know, that's pretty neat. I guess they had to do that, but, you know, I guess it's cool that they added um, extra hands. Here is his rifle. It's actually really well made. I, I really like it. I think it is pretty accurate to the movie. Uh, you know, you have the stock, the barrel, you know, everything, you got the scope. So that's really cool. It does come with two attachments. Uh, you do place the attachments here. Speaking of the attachments, they are over here. Uh, I got the, you know, the slits to put it in, obviously. Uh, but they're both grenade launchers, I believe. Just, you know, poured in whichever one you think looks better. Um, I personally like this one better over this one. Um, you know, but like I said, they do have storage. So if you don't put one in, you could always put the other in the storage. So just so you don't lose it. So, you know, I, I do think that's a neat idea. Uh, like I said, you can port it in just by doing this, you know, matching up the slit with the rectangle over here. So that's neat. Really good idea on Hasbro. Really good sculpting. Really like it. Uh, nice ridges and everything. Good texture on the gun. It's really cool. And then for the pistol, uh, you know, it's the same old pistol, I guess. You know, there's a hole for whoever has those new effects. Um, you know, the new, uh, what do you call those, gun flares. So, you know, I, I guess that's cool, but... It's sort of just a reused pistol like we've seen. I mean, it could be new, but I can never tell the difference. They're all kind of just the same to me. So that's all of his accessories. Now I will get into the figure. Just move these aside. So here's the cable figure himself. Like I said, there are storage compartments for you to put his weapons and his attachments in. Uh, so I will show you that to you right now real quick. So if you move his arm back and his little, like, this thing, I don't know what it's called. But uh, you move that back, you see this green thing. That's where the pistol goes. And you can port that in real quick. It does fit in nice. It's not going to fall out. Uh, and then this pouch right here. This is for the grenade launcher. You don't want to put it on his gun. So, you know, like I said, I don't like this one. So, obviously, I'm going to put this one in. Yeah, there we go. I was just missing the hole. But, you know, there we go. It's good. 
snug. It's not going to fall out. So, you know, that's really cool that they decided to add storage just so you don't lose the extra stuff. So I really do like that. It adds the figure, adds to the accessories. Really like that. Really neat. And you know, obviously the gun you can just put in his hand. There's the handle. Uh, I'm not going to put the gun in his hand just yet. But, uh, you know, I will get into the figure real quick now. So here is the head sculpt. The main thing about this. This is Br uh, Josh Brolin, the same guy who played Thanos. It looks just like him, I would say, especially in, the, in a figure form. So that's really cool. I would say it looks just like him. Really well done. My only real complaint would be, like, the sides of the hair. I feel like it's not too visible. I don't know. Something just feels off about it. But, um, you know, everything other than that just feels really nice. It's really cool. Looks just like him, like I said. Uh, you know, you could get a good look right there. I feel like it's kind of too shiny, but, uh, you know, I you pass that off a of sweat or something. I don't know. He's always chasing Deadpool around in that one movie, so... It is pretty neat. Really like the photo reel technology they're doing. Really adding to their figures. Really making them worth twenty dollars or twenty five dollars. So that's really cool. Got the scars all over. Really nice. Got the cybernetic eye. So, you know, really well done. I really like what they're doing over at Hasbro now. It's really good. Uh, and then we got this cape thing, uh, cloak or whatever you want to call it. You can't take it off. Just slide it off easily. Uh, it's just green, it's green plastic with like texturing and everything. It's, it's well done, uh, but you know it's nothing more than plastic. Uh, you just got a hood and then some texturing on the back. Nothing on this side, considering you won't be able to see it. But you know down here, since you will be able to see that part, uh, you know like I said, just put it over his head and you're good. But I will take it off for now just to get a better look. I feel like it does kind of look awkward without it. You know, his neck looks a bit big, but I guess you aren't really supposed to have this off i guess that's the reason being and then on his neck you get cybernetic parts you know obviously on the cyborg side of his body i don't know but uh you know that's cool nice silver up there as well utility uh vest is cool it, i guess you could take this off i don't know if you really can it feels like you can it's a separate piece it's not sculpted on so i guess if you really wanted to you could i'm sure there is a way but i just don't know but you know, really well sculpted, got like attachments and stuff on this side, uh, got a little buckle thing down there, really well done. No paint on it except for this part I believe, so that's really cool. Uh, also paint up here for like these little grenade things, I don't know what those are, but you know, nice bronze color. So you know, really well sculpted, really well thought out and nice. Got a teddy bear down here, I think this is his daughter's or his son's, I, I honestly forgot, but do get that teddy bear, it's really nice. Really well done. No paint on it. I think there should have been paint on it, but either way, it's fine. Looks good. I got his belt down here with the holsters and everything. Really well done. Once again, everything about this figure is just really awesome. Uh, really well made. You got silver for the belt buckle. Got the pouches and everything. And then his cybernetic arm. It's really good too. Got the silver and the gray mix. Got the glove on his, um, on his hand. So that's really cool. Got a bunch of details in there on his bicep. That's really nice. Uh, his other arm, it's just a normal arm, you know, sleeve and everything. Not much to say about it, just brown for his shirt, and then uh, the sleeve on his bicep. Got the glove, you know, it's just normal skin tone, nothing special. Um, for the pants, you know, it's just army pants. Really no paint on it except for this one black stripe. I don't know if you can see that, but there is just a black stripe there. I don't know what that's about, but detail, I guess. <laughs> so, you know, really well sculpted. Boots, just brown, no paint on them whatsoever. But good sculpt, once again. Everything is just really well done about these figures. Uh, you know, this is my first X-Men movie figure. So, you know, so far, I really do like it. Really well done on everything. Really recommend it, even if you didn't watch the Deadpool 2 movie. Or if you weren't a fan or anything. You know, It's just really cool to have. Really looks nice. You could just pose it as a soldier or something. Just, you know, either way, if you don't like Cable or not, I recommend it. It's really nice. So, you know, Hasbro is really doing a good job with their new figures. Really stepping it up, so... Yeah, uh, not much else to say about the figure. I really like it, like I said over and over. I sound like a broken record, but, you know, let's get into the articulation. So I will be taking off his cloak for this articulation segment. I, I, it doesn't really hinder it, but you do get a better look at it. Uh, his head can go up this much, uh, can go down this much, go side to side like that, you know, do that new motion. They are going with a new uh, method for heads. It's like a ball joint, or, you know, it's always been a ball joint, but uh, now it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's not, it's not a hinge. It's just like this. I don't, I don't know what that is, but you know, you can move it in all different directions like you would a real head. So I guess that's a good idea. That's cool. But it just does look kind of awkward when it's like that. But 
other than that, it looks cool from different angles like that. So I guess that's neat. Uh, his arms can go around this much, go up this much. I think they're the same for for the other arm. Yeah, yeah, they're about the same. You know, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Got the wrist hinge. This one has side to side like that. This one, oh, I guess they do both have side to side. I thought they were different. So yeah, I guess they do ha both have side to side. I think the fists are up and down. Yeah, the fists are up and down, but the open hands, like the gun holding hands, are side to side. So, you know, I guess that's neat. I haven't seen that frequently with newer figures. I don't know why they're doing that, but I, I, there has to be some reason. So, ab crunch can go down this much with the vest on, back this much. Probably can go more, but, you know, obviously there's a vest hindering it. Got the waist swivel. They can kick out this much, back this much. Got the thigh swivel. Uh, got double jointed knees, boot rotation, ankle swivel, ankle pivot, whatever it is. And then toes can put down that much and go up that much. So, yeah. That is the articulation of the Deadpool 2 movie cable figure. So yeah guys, that was my review of the Marvel Legends cable from the Fox X-Men movie Deadpool 2. And like I said in the beginning, it's awesome that they're finally able to do these. Really excited to get the rest of them. Uh, it's just really cool, finally happening. Uh, it's really well made. I really do expect uh, this much uh, detail and everything for the rest of the X-Men figures. They look awesome in pictures. This one also looked awesome in pictures, so I do expect the same amount of like goodness out of I don't I don't know how if that's the right word I don't know how to explain it but uh you know like I said this is an awesome figure really recommend it really well done everywhere no really no um complaints except for the fact that he's pretty short I mean I guess that's how he is in the movie that's that's just how Josh Brolin is he's pretty short compared to everyone else so I, I guess it makes sense in a way but for Cable he is pretty short I guess they could have fixed that for the the figure but gotta stay movie accurate uh, so yeah, that is sort of my only complaint, just the size, but otherwise it is perfect, it's awesome, really well done, like I said over and over, but it's just true, really nice. Um, uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review, hopefully I covered everything you wanted me to, uh, you can like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next video.